Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Abby here. Today we're going to be making some sitz bath salts and tea for postpartum recovery. For the salts, you're going to need some Epsom salts, two cups of this, and then we're going to be using lavender and frankincense essential oils, which promote soothing and healing, relaxation. So this is going to feel really nice in your sitz bath. You're going to just mix this up really well. And actually, a sitz bath, you don't have to have anything in it. It can just be warm water, and you're going to get a lot of relief. It's nice to have salts and essential oils to promote healing, relaxation, and then, of course, magnesium in the Epsom salts is really useful as well because uh, digestion can be uh, negatively affected when you've uh, gone through labor and delivery. So this is going to help with that as well. And then finally, you're going to store this in a container that is food grade plastic or glass and that has a lid. And you can keep this in your bathroom so that it's just easy access to do your sitz bath. All right, next we're going to get into the tea. These are the herbs that I'm using. You'll find these resources listed below. So we're just going to mix equal parts of these herbs and they are going to promote healing and soothing to that perennial sensitive area so just give it a good mix and you'll also store it in a container that has a lid so the bath salts are easy enough to use you just add it to your hot water warm water and stir it up and it all should dissolve but if you're going to be doing the tea here are a couple of brewing methods for you if you have a strainer you can simply add the loose leaf tea to your strainer um, let it sit in the hot water and then you pull out your strainer and then there's your tea in your bowl and then you can just add the salts after that. Another option for you is to use something that's called a tea ball or an individual tea strainer. You can buy them at grocery stores or of course you can buy them online as well and so you simply just add your loose leaf tea into this ball that has a clasp and it's going to close. You place it where you're going to add the boiling water so it could be even in a cup or in a glass bowl. And if the coffee snob in the house doesn't mind and you have one of these, a French press, you can definitely use that as well. I have this really neat uh, loose leaf um, teapot that has a little strainer in the middle. So there's a lot of different methods for you. And then this crazy thing, my daughter thought was a hat when it came in the mail. It's not a hat, dear. <laughs> this is a sits bath. If you don't have a bathtub or you prefer to add this, this just sits on top of your toilet. And so you can make your tea and your salt, smell your salts, and then add it to this bath that sits on the toilet. And then you sit on that and it's going to feel so great. It's going to promote healing. And especially if you got some hemorrhoids during your labor, it's going to help with that. So here are some other items that I have a part of kind of my postpartum DIY natural care kit. If you're interested in any of these things, I will have their links below, these video links below, so that you can check them out. And I hope you found this video helpful and congratulations on your upcoming delivering of your baby. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.